What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with a very quick low C pro moto video. Uh, there's so many videos on these things. Everybody's just posting like clickbait stuff. Is it any good? Um, yeah, if you don't know it's good by now, like you're not gonna know apparently. But uh, so I've just like tried to avoid that kind of stuff. I don't like posting videos. It's just like the same old, same old. Here it is running in the grass again. Uh, but these things are a blast and I've got a couple hoodies I want to talk about. You can see the red one here, but also wanted to show you guys this super cheap sort of chest protector, I guess you can call it. Um, so I found this like about a week and a half, two weeks ago, and really been meaning to bring a video on it, but just got a lot of videos going right now. But you can see this thing fits pretty well on this rider. And this is actually just a bottle koozie. These things are on Amazon. You can get these like two for 10 bucks and they fit this rider perfect. So I was honestly just looking around for clothes and stuff and I was like, man, what is the size of this thing? You know, like what are the measurements? And I was like, it's almost like the size of a Coke can when you grab this dude. And I was like, wonder if there's any like clothing for koozies and stuff that would fit or for cans. And sure enough, these little things are made for bottles. I really can't see them being a lot of <laughs> good on uh, the bottles, but they work well on here. So the way this goes on, super simple. You can see comes unstrapped, goes around. It's got Velcro on the sides and goes together just like that. Now, the way they come, they have this little strap over the shoulder. I didn't like that. It looked all puffy. Uh, so I'll just take them off. You actually, at first these were on Amazon two for 10. So you would get two for 10 bucks. That's five bucks a piece. Um, I think those are sold out right now, but you're, you can still get them for like eight, 10 bucks each, I think. Um, but when you would get a pack of two, you could take these straps off of here and link them together and actually kind of put them around the arms as well if you really wanted to. So you could have somewhat of some arm protection there for the elbows. And then this would obviously protect the back. Now it doesn't really protect your hood. Um, you can see here, this is one of my hoodies. When I switched to the DX5C on here, I thrashed this hoodie because um, I lost willy mode, couldn't figure it out and it just kept looping out. So I trashed this one, you can see, but you can actually just slip this on and then tuck your hoodie inside of it if you wanted to, just like that, just leave it in there. So like if you're going to run on road, you know, on the blacktop, you know you're gonna be looping it out. Throw this thing on, you've got a little added protection. And then you can take it off when you don't want it. So you can see right there, this, I mean, it's not beautiful for an elbow pad, but it comes with this. So um, throw it on the elbow, it'll do something anyways. Um, you could possibly even get it around the shoulder up here. That takes a hit as well but it's a little bit of added protection for these things. And I just wanted to share it with you guys, super cheap way. You can actually make like little plates like this. This has Velcro on it. You can stick it right on there, see? So you can do it on front, back, however you want. And it sticks on there. I mean, obviously it's not the greatest thing, but very cheap and it works. So the other thing I wanted to talk about, some of these hoodies. So I'm gonna have a red, and a couple of blacks here that I'm going to kind of discount because as you can see, the hood's just too big. The hoodie itself is a little bit big, it just looks like a extra large baggy hoodie, sort of, so it fits pretty well. The hood is a little bit big, but it fits over the, the uh, helmet well. And when you tuck it back here like that, you can actually take this and roll it inside. And you could pin that or sew it up in there like that. You could take it even more to where it looks a little better, but uh, obviously if you did a little better job with that, you can make that look much better. I just, uh, I'm not gonna mess with it. And these were just a little bit too big. So uh, I'm gonna post up some of these that are a little large. So just know that it's not gonna be this one that's like super tight fitting. I will have more of these very soon. Hopefully I'll get these on the site like tomorrow and uh, some more of these coming very soon as well. So. Uh, just wanted to kind of update you guys on those and show you this super simple cheap chest protector. So you guys let me know what you think about it 
And uh, I'm going to get back to getting some running and some mods and stuff for these. I've got basically every thing that they offer for these things. I got the carbon fiber uh, chassis plates. I've got, I did get one set of aluminum hubs. I'm not a big aluminum guy. Everybody's throwing aluminum all over these and it's just, it's really not needed. Um, but it does look cool. So like maybe on my street tires or one or the other, I'm going to do just some aluminum touches here and there to give it a little bling, I guess. Um, but I really want to just keep the weight down on them. So like the carbon fiber plates, I think will look really good. And uh, hopefully a lot of stuff coming with these uh, very soon. So I appreciate you guys watching. Peace.